the Human Rights Writer Association of Nigeria and Huriwa says it has observed with worries the role of hard drugs in the forthcoming general election of the country. In a press conference with journalist in Abuja, comrade Emmanuel Wobiko, national coordinator who was raises issues of concern regarding the 2023 general election, which he stated that drug barons will make their way into politics. Hence, a support of the proposal by NDLEA to create a platform for all political candidates to be tested before the elections. And uh, everyone knows that Nigeria at the moment, we have a very tough, tough institutional, um, I don't know how to put it, we have a, a very tough person that is in charge of, um, uh, you know, fighting hard drugs. And, you know, when a crime is being fought viciously, those who are in that criminal enterprise, we look for another way of maybe another kind of profession to go into. And the next profession that barons, drug barons can easily go into is to run for elections or to put their boys to run for election. It is drug that leads to a, a very serious uh, uh, problem of uh, terrorism. It is drug that leads to kidnappings or drugs make kidnappers to become more, much more hardened armed robberies, all sort of crimes are committed under the influence of substances and hard drugs. And Nigeria is a major transit camp for most of these hard drugs. But we are much more concerned about the influence of hard drugs in the politics of Nigeria. Then there was also a time that the chairman of NGLEA proposed what he calls a test, a drug test for aspirants, and people kicked against it. We are were in total support of that call by General Marwa and the NDLA for a drug test for all political aspirants. Uh, we want the National Assembly, if possible, there is an ongoing amendment to the NDLA Establishment Act. They have to include it there. You do not take them, it doesn't take rocket science to amend a statute. NDLA, amending the NDLA uh, Act is not as complex as amending the Constitution. And it's already before the National Assembly. We are in support of that uh, proposal to make it mandatory for political parties to create the platform for the aspirants to be tested for drugs. Because it's only somebody who is hooked in uh, hard drugs uh, uh, behaviors and tendencies that we become, for instance, a governor or accountant general, and the person will corner as much as a hundred billion to himself. Only somebody on drugs, it's only somebody who is on drugs, will dip his hand into the treasury of the public and steal money that is meant for health infrastructures. Emmanuel Onwobiko highlighted that there is need to set up an independent commission to curb electoral crimes, adding that the economic crisis is caused because of the failure to address electoral crimes offenders. We want to use this opportunity to canvass support for the establishment of the uh, Electoral Offenses Commission. Anybody who is opposed to setting up the Electoral Offenses Commission must either be a crook or somebody who is benefiting from criminals who want to hijack the electoral process. The National Assembly should not waste any further time to pass the relevant legislation to set up a commission to fight electoral crime, to fight the influence of money in elections, to fight the purchasing, the buying and selling of ballots, uh, papers, to fight the, I mean, the, 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 the activities of talks during elections. When they cut away uh, ballot boxes, they try to influence the electoral process. The reason why Nigeria has to have very stringent legal uh, process and institution to battle the criminality of electoral crime is because 
if you don't put your foot down, if you don't ensure that criminals do not get into public offices, if you allow criminals to use talks, to use criminal uh, ways to win elections, to rig elections, and they succeed in getting into public offices, then Nigeria is as good as, is as, good as say, tell Nigeria bye-bye. Because the reason why we are facing an economic crisis as we are right now is because you have a lot of misfits, a lot of criminals, looters, treasury looters, people who are worse than Boko Haram, who are actually in this government. And it's not just this government, it's something that has been there for a long time, since 1999 date. We've not really taken measures to stamp out the activities of electoral arm robbers.